We're live, we're live, we're live, we're live. It is show number two. Show number two. I can't believe it. Yes, but you know we're here on the grind. Very excited about clink, that. Clink, clink, yes, clink, 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 clink. I want to welcome you, of course, the luxurious undergrind where music shines and music gets a chance to be the, the, the star, okay? Because we're already stars. You already know that. We got a new member. We have a new member. A new member. So I would wear um, t-shirts to promote. I would even stamp it on my forehead. You get a, like a I, marijuana endorsement? I'm shit. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm waiting for the day they let me be on the front of high time. Hi, I'm T.J. Moses. And let me just tell you why. Because, <laughs> you know, people drink and they kill people. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck kills somebody loaded? Let's talk about what I'm doing. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I think you have a point there. I think you have a really good no, point, No, but who, who kills... Who kills somebody smoking? Nobody. Nah, you don't ever hear about anybody going crazy on people someone. Don't even, people true. don't even fight when they load it. No. I know somebody feel me. But they wow. want to give you Clonopin and Paxil and Zoloft and all this shit that you about to be addicted to. You'd rather be a crackhead nigga on some pills than to smoke some free shit you could grow at your own house? Come on. Somebody got to feel me. So Jill Scott said on, on, um, on Twitter recently, she was talking about it actually on the Big Ticker Show this morning, that... Um, she feels like sometimes she really goes in for her man, mm -hmm. you know, and she's been cheated on before. Mm. She was talking about that. And what, um, and she said that she's even crossed the line where she looked back and she was like, damn, I, I feel like I overdid it. Meaning mm. like I knew I should have cut it off, mm -hmm. but I didn't. Mm -hmm. So I guess the luxurious love question of the evening is, how far is too far when it comes to love? And I think cheating is where I kind of cross the line. Like, if you're not into me, we could just keep it 100 and well, keep what, it moving. It doesn't so. mean he's not into no, you. No, no, no. I mean, though. completely. Oh, it totally and means he's not into you. No, if he it does not. No, of course it does. It does All day long. If guys, the nigga's cheating on guys, you, Johnny. Because, God, he is it not into you. Johnny. Get out of here. I All right. If you believe Johnny, then you a real sucker. No. <laughs> if if somebody is cheating on you, they are so not into you. They're not into you. Let me speak my piece. You have this cookie right here, right? Right. He liked this cookie. It's a good cookie. Yeah. Mmm, mmm, good cookie. Don't mean <laughs> he don't like this cookie. He ain't gonna eat this cookie every fucking day. And my white niggas in the building, wrong, wrong. Is wrong. Because if a woman could eat that same, same cookie every day, and a man ain't gonna put up with it, then why should a woman put up with I'm it? I'm so That's some bold. All right, ladies, we're gonna jump into this That's luxurious love. That's some bold. You tell us what you think. You yes. tell us what you think about when somebody <laughs> cheats on you. Oh, 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 all that I have is my 